Hi friends. Well, we have come to the last phase, I should say, of strength of material. And in this presentation, what we will do basically is try to understand the concept of mechanical properties of materials. Now, till now, what we have seen basically is that if a structure is subjected to some kind of external loads, right, which we, we can make an estimate of the external loads that a structure will be subjected to. And from that estimate, we can calculate the stresses in various members of the structures, right? Be it the bending stresses, be it the torsional stresses, be it the tensional or the compressional actual stresses. Also, we have learned about strains induced in various structures, the concept of strain energy, the concept of indeterminacy and all those things. Now, the most important thing for a designer is to understand the stresses falling on a structure and adequately select a material that will take in those stresses. And in real world, there are basically two types of materials, right? Number one, you have got the elastic materials, wherein if you apply a load, the material will definitely deform. But once you take up the load, the material returns to its original configuration, right? On the other hand, you also have a material called the plastic material, which is somewhat like this that if there's a material and it is if it is loaded basically then there will be some kind of a deformation in the material and once you retract the load the body won't return to the original configuration and instead there will be certain permanent set now how can we define brittle and ductile materials now the thing is there are some materials wherein it will happen like this that uh, the stress strain curve is some sort of a linear curve and without any permanent set, there will the material will break. Now, this kind of material are called brittle materials, wherein it just breaks like this, right? There is no elongation, there is no permanent set. It just breaks, right? Suppose, and for example, glass is a uh, is definitely a brittle material. And ductile materials are those materials basically in which there is some sort of a permanent set, right? And once you exceed a certain strength or a certain stress, the material basically fails. So all these concepts are deal, deal with basically mechanical properties of materials and I will try to basically understand all these things with help of two graphs, right? Number one, I will plot a graph that will show along x-axis, I will plot strain or I should say deflection and along y-axis I will plot let's say stress or I should say P now what happens is that if we take a case of carbon steel carbon steel let us suppose the material that we have is carbon steel right so at low percentages of carbon the stress strain curve or the load deflection curve is somewhat like this wherein the failure point is this and the material shows elastic behavior till this point and after the, this point there is some sort of a elongation right that is some sort of a permanent set now as we increase the content of carbon what happens is that the brittleness increases right so the maximum strength this material can take maximum stress this material can take definitely increases from this point to this point but what happens is that the deformation that it will undergo before collapse it definitely decreases in the second curve as compared to the first curve the second curve has more percentage of carbon as compared to the first curve uh, if we can if we if we still take higher values of carbon content then essentially it will be some kind of a thing like this wherein the maximum strength or the maximum stress the material is taking is increasing with its carbon content increase or brittleness increase but definitely what is happening is that the elongation that the material will be subjected to before fracture it definitely decreases right so this is a case that 